So, fear fear, like I said earlier, is similar to beans. But the difference with fear fear and beans is that this is highly proteinous. Like this is like probably like the highest type of protein that we have out there. Um, this particular um, fear fear is already stoned, is dead free. Like I said, you can buy it from Kaima's food mat. So, yeah, we have our Kaima palm oil. This palm oil was handmade. You know there are lots of palm oils out there, machine made, but this particular one from Kaima Food Bank is handmade. We also need our yam. Now for few of our dishes, people make it differently. Some people use sweet potatoes, some people use achisha. I choose to use yam. Like you already know, this is my personal recipe. You can try it at home, you can use whatever you want to use. You can use yam, sweet potatoes, um, Ashisha, whatever you want to use, I'm using yam for this particular episode of Fuel Fuel. I also have here my seasoning cubes. I have my salt, my already shot onions, my crayfish, and of course our Kaima pepper puree. You know, all we do in Kaima food mat is easy cooking. You don't need to stress yourself to put all these things together. The job has already been done for you. So, guys, it's time to cook. So this fear of fear normally takes a while to cook. So I would always advise if you have pressure pot, use a pressure pot. If, if you don't have pressure pot, you can also use potash or you can use something they call ungo. It takes a while guys. So you can't actually cook this pigeon piece just on its own without putting any of this. Either you use your pressure pot or you use your potash or you use your ungo. So I'm going to allow this to start boiling then at some point we are going to be adding our potage because we don't have pressure pot into this kitchen. So, my fear of has been boiling for a while. We are going to just have a look to make sure we have it very soft. You see, so when it's actually really done, it turns brown. So you just take one of it. Press, see? Half of that. That is. So what we'll do next is sieve out the excess water. I'm afraid to just dry up. So now, the next thing I'll be doing is putting in my palm oil. So this is the Kaima's palm oil. Like I said, there's no coloring, no preservative, nothing. So, I'll be having my palm oil. The palm oil is really nice, so you don't really need like so much, like so much. So, you know guys, when you have your palm oil on your gas cooker, you need to be like really, really mindful because of fire outbreaks. So, you just allow that to heat up for a while. So, now my oil is, um, We've been on fire for a while, so I'm going to be adding some chopped onions. See, I like that to fry for a while. Okay. Thank you know. So now, we're going to be adding some crayfish. This part honestly just really depends on how much you love crayfish. I do. And for this particular pigeon beans, crayfish is not compulsory. It's not compulsory, guys. So it just honestly really, 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 really depends on you. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. I just chose. Like I always say, this is my own recipe. But please try it at home and leave me a comment and tell me. If you like it, if you don't, tell me why you don't. If you like it, tell me why you like it. So I'm going to be adding some pepper. This pepper is already pureed from Kaima Food Mart. Some seasoning cubes. You have to be very, very light on the amount of seasoning you to choose to use. I'm using like three cubes. Some salt for taste. I'll just do a pinch of salt. See that amount? Um, this pure pure here is um, it's like it's about two milk cup. 
for those of you that live in Nigeria, you know what to make cup is. I don't know what that would be like in a traditional cup. So I just like pastry with mangi. So this is like the sauce I'll be needing for my fio fio. So as you can see, I already have like my boiled yam. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be pouring back this fio fio back into the pot. Then I'll start mashing. If you live outside the country, you can actually use this. If you live at home, if you're making it at home, if you have like those small mortars and pieces, you can actually use it. So you mash it. Mash it properly. That this is for those of you that are going to be cooking it with yam or sweet potatoes. You have to make sure you mash it. So I've been mashing it for a while. And this is what this is what you're expecting to get. This is what it should look like. So after this, you pour in your already cooked yam. As you can see. And I get my turning spoon. You turn to mix up the yam and the fear fear. Okay. We are adding your already made spice. Then mix together. So now you start your mixing process. Okay, so you mix them together and this is what you get using the kaima fio fio and the kaima palm oil yes, can you see how red that is yes. annabelle you came to our kitchen today to learn how to prepare this dish <laughs> yes have you learned anything today yeah i do do you like the color yes i do so guys it's time to taste it's so rich oh so try this at home guys Anna, tell me what this feels like try it with yam don't try with any recipe try with yam using my recipe tell me if you want to be a guest in my next cooking show like annabelle so now i'll be dishing this out and we have tasters here today they'll be tasting and they'll be telling you guys what they think and it's going to be their very honest opinion subscribe to our youtube channel at kaima's kitchen